Hello, I'm Mary, uh, and I'm going to show my uh, latest uh, programming project, CodeLearn, which is a programming environment for beginners. Uh, and if you want, you can check it out at codelearn.com. Um, so let's start with a Hello World program. I'm going to use the function write here to write um, Hello World to the screen. Um, and I specify the text, and then the x and the y coordinate, and then a color that I'd like to write in uh, there. And so that writes to the screen. Um, but CodeLorin is, is, is a lot about animation and games and kind of more interactive things. So um, uh, let's, let's try a, a super simple animation. So I'm going to um, create a variable called x, um, which I'm going to uh, swap out for hello world so that now I, type, I write x to the screen. Let's just move that down a bit. Um, and then I'm going to create a, a loop that will just go on forever. And this is kind of like an animation loop that will just keep going for the whole, for ad infinitum, basically. Um, and uh, at the moment, what I'd like to do in the cycle, inside the forever loop is, first of all, clear screen, so clear away the old number. And then I'd like to increment add every time through the loop. So Sorry, inc increment x every time through the loop. So I can use the add function to do that. So I just say, hey, x is x plus 1 each time through. So now I've got a number that's just going to go up forever. Um, but what's cool about one of the cool things about Code Lauren is that you can uh, inspect your program a little bit, so you can uh, pause and and resume execution. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but you can also um, step through it piece by piece. So if I jump back right back to the beginning of the program, I can now use the step forward button to walk through my program uh, piece by piece. And so you can see that each instruction happens on its own. Um, and then finally, uh, write will write the integer to the screen. Um, and so I can just kind of keep on going around like that, um, two, three, and so forth. But I can even go backwards as well, so I can run my program in reverse, maybe to get better insight into how it's working, um, like that, and go all the way back to the beginning. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I said that code loan is a lot to do with animation, so maybe let's do a slightly more interesting animation. So we'll start off just by drawing a circle instead of uh, writing x to the screen. So uh, let's draw use draw oval to do that. I'm going to use x to do uh, to specify as the x coordinate and then a y coordinate, uh, let's say 200, um, and then a width and a height. And I want to fill in the circle and I want it to be red. Let's say that's cool. I've got a nice animation of that circle moving across the screen there. But let's take it one more step further and make a slightly more interesting animation. So I'm going to make this circle go round and round a central point. So for that, I'm going to define going to define a new function called draw circle um, right here, um, and that's going to do the main work here. So let's call draw circle down in the uh, uh, forever loop. Um, let's pop in draw oval. Um, now the thing that's going to drive going to drive this program is uh, is is an angle variable, and angle is going to do exactly the same as x, which is to say it's just going to get incremented by one each time through the loop. So let's set that up, um, and then what we want to do is we want to pass angle into draw circle so that draw circle can use it to place the circle in the right place, rotating it around that central point. So I define angle as a parameter, um, and now I need to create x and the x and y. Um, coordinates of the circle at the current point in the animation. So x is, um, uh, I'm just going to get the cosine of the angle, um, which will give me an oscillating value, but I want it to oscillate more than from between minus 1 to, to plus 1. So I'm going to use multiply um, to uh, multiply that cosine by 100. So now I've got something that's oscillating pretty nicely. That's going to come backwards on and off, and on and off screen. Um, but I want it to stay on screen the whole time, so I'm just going to add an initial uh, value of x to all values. Um, so now it's on screen the whole time. But to make it go round, then I need to involve y and things. So let's um, uh, create y, and this is just exactly the same as x, except I want to get the, the sine of the angle. Um, and now I can just pop y into my program there, and it will go round in circles. So that's Code Lauren. It's a quick intro. Um, uh, you can check it out at codelauren.com, um, and I would be super excited to hear any feedback you've got. Thanks so much.